Finding percent decrease for a pair of numbers is very similar to finding percent increase, but the formula is a little bit different. Once again, I'll demonstrate on three different types of number pairs. First decimals, then fractions, then dollar amounts. In the first example, we have 3.6 and 2.0. To find percent decrease, we'll take the first number, subtract the second number, and divide by the first number. So what we have is 3.6 minus 2.0 over 3.6. We can simplify this by subtracting 2 from 3.6 and we get 1.6 over 3.6. Now if you reduce this fraction, what you wind up with is 4 over 9 whose percentage equivalent is 44.4%. In the second example we have 5 over 6 and 2 over 3. Once again, we'll take the first number minus the second number over the first number. Now we don't have a common denominator yet, but we can convert the second number to a denominator of 6 and then we'll have it. So we'll multiply this by 2 over 2 and what we wind up with is 5 over 6 minus 4 over 6 divided by 5 over 6. Now 5 over 6 minus 4 over 6 is just 1 over 6, so what we have is 1 over 6 divided by 5 over 6, or 1 over 6 times 6 over 5. Now the 6's cancel here, and what we're left with is just 1 over 5. The percentage equivalent for 1 over 5 is 20%. In this final example, we have 230, $200, $30. So we'll take once again the first number minus the second number divided by the first number. Now 200 minus 30 is 170, so what we have is 170 over 200. Now since our denominator is already so close to 100, we'll just convert it to 100 and then we'll have our percentage uh, figured out already. So we'll divide top and bottom by 2, 170 over 2 is 85, and 200 over 2 is 100. So what we have is 85 over 100, which by definition is 85%.